Hey, what's up, men? It's Nyland from SurrenderedStrength.com, and what I'm about to show you is a just a simple warm-up that I like to use for my workouts, um, for basically every workout. If I'm doing something, um, maybe a heavier day or whatever, I might add something to it. But this is the just this, the basic of what I do and I encourage you to do for your workouts and <clears throat> there's there's some high impact things um, high knees some running if you are not able to do that just go around it do just skip it do the next thing do what you can and do it to the best of your ability and as long as you do that you will improve over time and think of this as an extension to your workout and if you're not going to do it, I don't recommend working out because it's important that you that you warm up and and allow your body to be prepared for your workout. So let's get into it. First one is high knee pull. You're just pulling your knees into your chest, and I usually do this. I usually do these in a um over over a 10 yard span give or take so i'll do five yards and switch to the next one do five yards some of them i'll do um, 10 yards depending on what it is how i'm feeling that day so second one heel pull pull your heel up to your butt again you can do walking stationary you can grab same foot with the same hand or you can cross over i kind of go back and forth depending on the day. Next one is a knee and ankle pull. So grab under your knee, over the ankle, pull up. If you were doing yoga, it'd be like a pigeon pose, but we're traveling with it. Okay, ankle and knee pull. Next one is your more high impact, high knees and butt kicker. So you're running, you wanna try and drive your knees up as you're doing that. And then next one, butt kickers, just kicking your butt. So it's everything we just did, only faster. Next one is windmills. So you're going to have your feet wider than shoulder width apart, arms reaching out. You're just gonna bend, slight, have a slight bend in your knees, and you're gonna hinge at your hips, reaching your hand to the opposite toe. Coming down, touching, Come back up. You can do 10, 14, 12, 20, however many you feel like you need to do to uh, get your get your hamstrings and your groin warmed up. Next one is arm circles. So you're just rotating your arms, you do big circles, little circles, forwards, backwards. Again, this is kind of go, going off your preference. Just do it five, 10 seconds each direction. Next is a band pull apart. So this is just a exercise band I got a long time ago. You can use any, any tubing band, whatever. Just pulling it apart, okay? Just as needed. I would do 10, 10 to, 15 reps to uh, get the get your shoulders warmed up next one is your is our lunges so you can do we got three different lunges forwards backwards and lateral so if you're just doing stationary you're just stepping forward pressing back okay if you're you can do walking lunges so you're walking forward traveling and backwards, same thing, traveling, backwards. If you're doing stationary, stationary backwards, you're just stepping back, stepping forward, keeping your knee over the toes as you're doing it. And then the lateral lunge, you are stepping to the side, send your hips down and come back. I'm not gonna go the other way because I don't really have much room in that position. So, 
Those are your lunges. Again, forward, backwards, lateral. Next, you're just doing squats. You're gonna squat, again, doing 10 to 20 reps. 20 is a, is a really good warm up. If you're gonna do squats, a set of 20 is gonna help warm your body up. Again, keeping your chest up, sticking your butt out like you're sitting down, okay? Again, 10, 20 reps, whatever you need to do. And then to build on that, here's more high impact. We're gonna do some jumps. You can do just some squat jumps. Where you're squatting down, jumping up. Squat down, jump it up. You can do broad jumps where you're jumping forward. Trying to land on your toes, quiet as possible. The other jump that I don't do very often, but you can do it is 180s where you're jumping. You're turning around. And the last one is just a sprint or a build up sprint. So you can choose 10, 15, 20, 30 yards, whatever whatever that you know might be whatever your space you have but uh, you're just building up so think about it in percentages if you say you're doing we'll say 30 yards do build up to 50% of a full out sprint by the time you get to 15 and maybe you do 75 maybe you to 75% by the time you get to 30 and then just do you know, five or six of those build-up sprints to really help you get loosened up. Again, if you're not able to necessarily do the sprints, I would encourage a rowing machine, bike, anything to get get some blood flowing. So that's just a basic. Hold on, bud. Stop. That is just a a, a basic warm up for for any workout. Um, if you have any questions, you can message me, comment uh, below in the videos, um, whatever, whatever you need to do, just get a hold of me and uh, I'll help you out. Guys, strength and good luck.